Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. A 20 year veteran police officer risked his life to save a man in a truck that was quickly sinking. This happened near Lakeshore and Lockmore in Gross Point Shores. With water moving in and frigid temperatures, Officer Tony Spina dove right into Lake St. Clair, no questions asked. To put it into perspective, a dive team decided it was too dangerous to get the car out today, and they're going to return on Friday. White boy Rick is expected to be released from prison earlier than expected, thanks to good behavior. Rick Worshi Jr. is now set to be released on November 25th, 2020. That's about five months sooner than his original date. He was paroled in Michigan in August of 2017 after being locked up for 30 years on drug charges, where she was the longest serving nonviolent offender in Michigan history after being arrested at the age of 17. There's a big change coming to hospitals around the country, and this is one you're going to appreciate. Starting in January, hospitals will be required to have a list of online prices for medical services. This will allow patients to compare prices before getting treatment. However, some consumer advocates warn while the list will be beneficial, it won't adjust costs for insurance and other factors, and this is part of a new federal law. The owners of the Ambassador Bridge lost another court challenge. For years, the Maroon family has been fighting the construction of the Gordie Howe International Bridge. Now, the state Supreme Court is denying the family's appeal to review a court of appeals judgment. The lawsuit was looking to halt MDOT's efforts to buy land in the pathway of the new bridge needed for construction. The new bridge is expected to be open by the end of 2024. And we do want to take a look at the weather and uh, see how it's been warming up and what's ahead for us. We'll send it over to Kevin. All right, Amir, thanks a lot. Well, tonight we're actually going to be warming up through the night, climbing into the 50s by the time the sun comes up tomorrow morning. Rain showers off and on continues through the night and through tomorrow morning. 55 are high tomorrow, but it's going to be getting colder and staying windy through the day. It's going to be getting colder in the afternoon and evening. Saturday morning, we're back to the 20s. Saturday afternoon, high of 35. Sunday, 37. Back to the 40s. Monday with a chance of showers for New Year's Eve. Amir? All right, Kevin, thank you. And those are your 7 Action News headlines. We have those stories and so much more on our website. WXYZ.com and also on our app. Have a great night. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.